Hello guys, today we have come to explore a historical Malta museum. I hope you're gonna like it. Very, very old building. We got some history here as well. I'm going to take you into Malta Historical Museum. People come from really far to come and visit this place. It's a very old fort. Now they have converted into a museum. This is a very, very old building. I would like to show you the walls. I will try and explain in Urdu as well. This is a very old, very old building. When it was in a time, when it was in a time, it was used in a way to use it as a place. But now, they have changed it in a museum. You can see it in the name of the Malta Museum. I would like to take you to this side. The only problem is I can't read their language. Some of the things are written in Maltese language, which I don't understand. Uh, I would like to show you this uh, fort from inside as well. Again, there's another language written here. Years ago, it used to be a part of the British government when the British ruled in the whole world. But then, uh, after uh, their independence, now the Maltese got their own government here. I would like to zoom this for you, if you could read it. It's a very old historical fort. बहुत ही मजबूत पत्थरों के साथ बना हुआ है ये. Very strong. आप इसके ऊपर देख सकते हैं कि ये किसी ज़माना में क्रिश्चियनिटी का गढ़ था यहाँ पर. यहाँ पर जगह-जगह क्रॉसेस बनी हुई हैं. अब हम इस म्यूजियम के अंदर जाना चाहेंगे और आपको कुछ अंदर से दिखाएंगे। This is old. Historical images of the historical time. Some old history of from the old wars. I would like to show you from outside as well. It's such a really, really old buildings here. They were built years and years ago. I could show you some churches.
some old historical churches on the hill. Whole Malta is covered with the sea. As you guys may know that this place is an island. So wherever we go, it's all sea around the country. So we are in the middle. You can see some historical, historical walls here. Some of them are broke. Some of them are still in good condition. Kuch jo hai tabah ho gayi hai, kuch abhi. Ye kalle ka bahar ka area hai. Ye is kalle ki entrance hai. Asare kadima mein iska shumar hota hai, jo ki 18vi sadi mein banaya gaya. Iske alawa. आपको ज़ूम करके थोड़ा सा सिटी का एरिया दिखाता हूँ बहुत ही खूबसूरत व्यू है यहाँ से सच ए ब्यूटीफुल व्यू फ्रॉम हेयर ज़ूम किया है आपके लिए ताकि आप दूर दूर तक देख सकें इस वक्त हम माल्टा में मौजूद हैं माल्टा वो रिलीजस प्लेस है जहाँ पर क्रिश्चियन की क्रिश्चियनिटी की बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग हिस्ट्री पाई जाती है यहाँ पर हर टाउन में बहुत बहुत पुराने चर्चेस मौजूद हैं जिन्हें देखकर बहुत खुशी होती है मैं कोशिश करूँगा अभी ड्यूरिंग द डे कुछ और चर्चेस को आपके लिए एक्सप्लोर करूँ यहाँ पर जो माल्टा के लोग हैं ये हर चर्च जो है उन्होंने एक एक रसूल जो है उसे मुकर किया हुआ है जैसे कि खुदावन के पाक कलाम में रसूलों का जिक्र आता है जितने भी रसूल खुदा जसमसी के बाद दुनिया में मौजूद थे इन लोगों ने अपने लिए वो रसूल जो है एक एक रसूल को अपने चर्च के साथ जोड़ रखा है और ये हर महीने बाद दो महीने बाद ये इनके यहाँ पर बहुत बड़े बड़े फेस्टिवल होते हैं तो ये ये लोग बहुत धूमधाम से इसे सेलिब्रेट करते हैं सो आप जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इन उर्दू दैट दे है लॉट्स ऑफ फेस्टिवल्स ऑन द नेम्स ऑफ अपॉसोल्स बाइबल सो दे It's a beautiful place to come and uh, visit, and this is a country where Apostle Paul he lived three months of his life when he lost his ship as he was going to Rome. Uh, most of the people, those who know about the map, Rome is not far from here. You can go to Rome on the boat as well. So he was going through here, and he lost his ship. There was something wrong with the ship. So he lived three months on this land, and during that time, he converted so many people on the land of Malta, and he converted so many people into Christianity. And those people are called the early Christians. That's the main reason I've come all the way from England to. To show you this uh, island, such a beautiful place. We have discovered some places, and then as soon as we'll get some more time, we'll uh, show you some more historical churches. And I hope you can like it. Thank you very much.